Now we're going to get that last look at your forecast like I promised you. Hello, Jordan. Is it going to be a nice day out there for us today? Hi, Jillian. Yes, it's going to be a very, very nice day out there today. Very similar to what we saw yesterday, actually. So definitely grab the sweatshirts. It's going to be cool, but grab the sunglasses as well. We're starting out cool around New York State. Rochester, the warm spot around the region, 51 degrees. Elmira at 39. Ithaca, 38. Binghamton checking in at uh, 40 degrees at the airport right now. We're at 40 degrees in Syracuse and Utica as well. Up to our north in Watertown, they're checking in at 37 degrees. Very, very chilly all the way up in Saranac Lake. That's 28, 28 degrees. And we're going to get close to that temperature tonight. We're going to get down into the low to mid 30s. So uh, although it looks kind of ridiculous right now to be into the upper 20s in the beginning of October, it's going to be pretty chilly tonight. Because of that, there's a freeze warning in effect. I'll tell you all about that a little bit later. The reason for all this is because of a high pressure system. It's a really, really strong bubble of high pressure. And if that's what's been giving us the great weather yesterday, it's what's going to give us the great weather today. And it's also what's going to give us the great weather for the weekend. The reason for this is because this high pressure system, along with bringing uh, some, some really nice weather, is also has a, a clockwise flow around it. And that means that this air is coming down from Canada. And air down from Canada means cooler temperatures. And that's why it's been so much cooler the last couple of days. Because this air is coming straight out of the north. And uh, look at this. It's a straight shot right at Binghamton. So, despite, so in addition to keeping us uh, dry, this high pressure system is also going to keep us cool. And what it's also going to do, this high, pressure system, this high pressure system is doing a lot of things. It's keeping this system at bay to our south. As you can see, a pretty strong system to our south now. It's giving a lot, a lot of rain to the middle Atlantic states, to Washington, D.C., our friends in southern Pennsylvania are getting a lot of rain this weekend. So a pretty, pretty miserable weekend for them, but great for us because this high-pressure system is blocking up the work. So for today, really a fantastic day. Danby with a high temperature of uh, 57, Will at a high of 55, Gilbertsville 56, Delhi 54. Everybody under, a, uh, everybody under a freeze warning tonight, so do cover those outdoor plants. That freeze warning uh, goes into effect uh, tonight, Friday night, and goes into Saturday morning. So cover the outdoor plants or bring them indoors. Here's a look at the seven-day planning forecast. As I said, a mix of sun and clouds today, a high of 57, comfortable, and then look at that weekend, absolutely gorgeous, 64 for a high on Saturday, 72 for a high on a Sunday, just a few fair weather clouds, but lots and lots of sun this weekend. Uh, the, the beginning of your Columbus Day looking good for the most part. We'll warm up to a high of 69 degrees, and our next chance for, uh, for some rain is on Monday evening into Monday night, and it's a weak cold front that's coming through, so not too much of a chance. Uh, Tuesday looking great as another high-pressure system builds in, and then Wednesday and Thursday, our next disturbance moves in, so a good chance for some rain on Wednesday and Thursday. But, Jillian, that's so far in the future, it doesn't even matter. We have such good weather this weekend. Let's enjoy it. Sounds good. And speaking of this weekend, the Special Olympics Fall Games opening ceremony starts tonight right. at the Event Center at Binghamton University at 8 p.m., yep. so lots of different sports, cycling, softball, cross-country, roller skating, golf, yeah, everything. It's going to be great so, weather for it, too. So. Be a good weekend. Yeah, definitely. Right. Thanks, Jordan.